present for our walk in this world. They resound. Welcome again to Dear Lover of God. We started yesterday looking at the Sermon on the Mount. We looked at Beatitudes that, that Luke records for us, where there is both a blessing and a woe, blessed to those who are doing things for God and woe to those who are living for life for right now. Those who are doing things for God may experience poverty and, and need here on earth, but they're blessed because God is with them and they have the spiritual side of life taken care of. But those who are rich and focused on this life may very well be missing out on the spiritual side. And they may find themselves the ones who weep, the ones who are weeping, the ones who are without, the ones who are poor, spiritually speaking. And today he shifts gears. He closed with this idea of everyone speaks well of you, if everyone speaks evil of you. And so he introduces the idea of of having enemies. As we pick up today in Luke chapter six, verse twenty seven, we see just that. Luke six and verse twenty seven. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you, to one who strikes you on the cheek, offer the other also, and the one who takes away your cloak, do not withhold your tunic either. Give to everyone who begs from you, and from one who takes away your goods, do not demand them back. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. If you love those who love you, what benefit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what benefit is that to you? Even sinners do the same. And if you lend to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great, and you will be sons of the Most High. For he is kind to the ungrateful and the evil. Be merciful even as your father is merciful. Sometimes what Jesus says simply turns our ideas upside down. And in the world, you don't loan to somebody that's not going to pay you back. You don't you don't give somebody something with and they're not expecting anything in return. In in the world, it's it's quid pro quo. You give so you get and and you get because you give and and, and that's the way that the world thinks. And if someone hates you, then you hate them back. If someone does bad to you, you do bad to them back. That's the way the world thinks. But Jesus is turning that upside down. He says, love your enemies. Do good to those who do bad to you. And be willing to loan things out and loan money out and not get it back. You're saying, if I do that, then I won't have. Go back to what he said about being poor. Is it all about this life? Now, yes, use some common sense. Yes, don't necessarily hurt yourself. But be willing to, as the old saying says, give the shirt off your back to help someone in need, to help someone else, to put yourself in out there for others because after all as a child of God we are supposed to be serving Christ our master and what is it that he did he left as the song says the splendors of heaven he gave up all of that to come here and live and not only to live but to die for my sin in my place instead of me so that I could live with him eternally. God is not asking us to do anything that he has not already done to the extreme. See, as children of God, we turn the world upside down. As children of God, as followers of Christ, we live different from the culture around us when the culture around us is not following God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, we thank you so much for your blessings, for your love, for your care. We thank you that you came into the culture of man and showed us a better way to live. 
Father, help us to live for you. Help us to live like your son. Help us to be different in the world around us so that people see you living in us. Forgive us when we fall short and thank you for that forgiveness. And it is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again and again for allowing me to join you for these studies, for these short devotionals. I do look forward to these. I hope you do as well. And until the next time we're together, my prayer is always that God will bless your day. We have come with open hearts. Oh, let the